Before we start, I would like to clarify that this video is not to spread hate to anyone, but for informative purposes only, and to shed light on this ongoing matter. The concept of an exploit attack, or raid even, isn't a foreign one in the Greenpoint community. It was only one and a half years ago when I covered an exploit attack so bad, Greenpoint had to get paid access for a period of time. But this time, it's different. We have grown from those mistakes, and the community cannot be more strong or united than ever. In fact, we are so strong that it almost seems like nothing is happening. Community members are just reporting the exploit attack, then just straight up leaving the game. No big hassle or drama. Even at a time when our staff team is more scarce than ever, the servers aren't a complete mess. But finally, we know who is behind the attacks this time. And this video is to tell you all about it, and give a little backstory to the man behind these attacks, and present all the facts to light, and give you a choice, whether to give him the middle finger, or give him two middle fingers. As always, make sure to, s to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, both to spread the word and to support myself in making these kinds of content. If you always end up hating me in the future, you can always unsubscribe and dislike all my videos. So why not do it now? It takes a few seconds and it's free of charge. Now moving on to the video. DOJ Sandy Shores may be a very familiar name to many. In fact, Roblox has so many of these 5M GTA 5 remakes, it is hard to count them all on one's fingers. Though one of these Sandy Shores communities, one that has been gaining popularity over the months that it's been present, is one owned by Izzy Yuan. This community, housed by many Greenpoint members as staff members, and all of the thumbnails were made by myself under a contract for the community. Now a little digging on the community itself would reveal that their Roblox game was directly stolen and copied from a parent game owned by LLP Studios. Founded by another man named Lewis, Lewis would be commonly hated on in Izzy's community for being a mean person, and that would justify the moral stagnation of stealing assets and moving to a completely different game, right? And getting it more popular than the original game stolen as a whole. Many that play this game to this day do not know that nearly 90% of what they're playing are assets being stolen. And the worst thing is Izzy, or Lewis rather, can't do nothing about it. After hearing all that, you can understand what kind of person would lead a community that stole from their previous founder. A tragic textbook definition of stabbing someone in the back. The current founder of DOJ Sandy Shores, Izzy E. Warner, Izzy, was known to threaten staff members by doxing them using their IP address or other personal information obtained by unethical means, which of course is against Discord terms of use. The same person, Izzy, would be the mastermind of the so-called attacks on Greenpoint. As seen in these pictures, he would go around invisible, kill and tase random individuals just trying to roleplay and have some fun. So why is he doing this? What caused such a feud between communities so different that caused all of this drama and eventual blacklisting? It seems as though when Izzy realized that many members of his staff team were largely also mutuals within the Greenpoint community, Izzy tried to troll them by joking about exploiting Greenpoint just to trigger them and see their reaction. But the diehard supporters in his staff team resigned from the staff team and called him out for it. I would assume that this made Izzy rather butthurt or confused and continued to carry out his exploit attacks just to gain more attention and traction in the Discord community. So after a couple of days, he joins the main Discord server and is exposed and pointed out as the root of this gigantic problem. After this very bold and smart move, he gets his whole community blacklisted and assumes he lost a couple of members from that at the same time. Now any person with some sort of moral compass knows that being a founder yourself, you shouldn't be crashing other communities just for personal pleasure. And we know now for a fact that your own community is nothing but a worthless copy of someone else's hard work and dedication, this being Lewis. This brings in with it a serious moral and ethical violation that should be seen by everyone, therefore I'm making the video to spread the word. In conclusion, I find it very funny that a founder like Izzy or even any exploiter thinks that he has any power over us. 
In fact, he has done nothing to impact Greenpoint's operations. Coming upon 2.5 million visits, Greenpoint is stronger than ever, and if you think that a man reduced to nothing but trolls and revenge could end it, you would be 100% wrong. The moral from the story is not to exploit other communities, especially one that you that can really kick you in the behind when you're running a community yourself. I'm glad that we made the swift decision to blacklist DOJ RP Sandy Shores. If you have a friend there playing that game right now, I suggest you tell him to leave. So, after watching this video, what is your decision? One or two middle fingers. Comment down your down below as usual, and I am Nano Laws. Peace out, and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.